Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about how to convert an infix expression to a postfix expression. So in the previous video, we understood that infix expressions are easier to evaluate by humans. But if we want the computer to also understand and easily evaluate an expression, we need to convert it into the postfix notation. It will be easier for a computer to understand. So let us say if we have an infix expression which is stored in a variable infix exp and the resulting postfix expression let us store it in a variable post exp okay so what do you have to do to convert an infix to a postfix expression you have to traverse each character of the given infix expression and for each character you have to do certain condition checking so if the character that you encounter in the infix expression is the opening parenthesis, then you can directly push this parenthesis into the stack. Okay, so you will be maintaining a stack and once you uh, encounter an opening parenthesis, you can directly push the opening parenthesis into the stack. Now what if the character that you have encountered is a closing parenthesis? So in this case, what you will do, you will start to pop out elements from the stack and the, you will add or append the popped elements to the postfix expression that you are creating. Okay. So if you see that the next character in the infix expression is a closing bracket, you start popping elements from the stack. And how long will you keep popping? You will keep popping elements from the stack until the opening bracket is popped out okay so uh, all the elements that are popped out from the stack will be appended to the postfix expression that you are creating but none of the two brackets neither the closing bracket nor the opening bracket that you have popped out from the stack will be appended to the postfix expression because we have understood in the previous video also that postfix expressions do not contain parentheses okay now the third case is if the character that you are uh, you have just seen in the infix expression is any kind of operator now if the uh, operator is seen in an infix expression you have to check what is present at the top of the stack if on the top of the stack there is an operator whose precedence is higher than the operator that you have just encountered then you need to pop out all the elements until on the top of the stack there is an operator which has a lesser precedence okay so what you will do you will check if the precedence of the operator that you have just found in the infix operator in, in the infix expression is lower than the operator at the top of the stack. Okay. So uh, if the precedence is lower, then you pop out all the elements from the stack till and any such element becomes present on the top of the stack. Any operator that has a lesser precedence as compared to the operator that is found in the infix operation in the infix expression okay now all the popped out elements will be appended to the postfix expression variable that you are creating and then you will push the operator that you have found in the infix expression otherwise if no operator is present on the top of the stack, you can directly push the operator you have seen in the infix expression to the top of the stack. Okay, only all this, all these steps will be performed only when an operator of higher precedence or equal precedence is present on top of the stack. Okay, now the last case is that if you do not see any parenthesis, you do not see an operator, the only thing left is you will be seeing a operand, an operand. So you can directly append that operand, that particular character to the postfix expression variable that you are maintaining. Okay. Now let us see what happens when all such cases are exhausted. So if you have traversed the entire infix expression and you have seen all the characters and performed all the operations that was just uh, explained, 
and there are still elements remaining in the stack then what you will do you will pop all the elements from the stack one by one and append all those elements to the postfix expression that you are creating again uh, append them to the postfix expression one by one okay now we'll take an example and understand all these steps one by one and see how to convert this particular infix expression into a postfix expression so this infix expression is uh, x plus y in parenthesis divided by z multiplied by 8 okay so for each step we will be uh, maintaining three things firstly the symbol we are currently looking at in the infix expression so the first symbol that we will be looking at is the opening bracket and then we will see what is the status of the stack at each step and what is the status of the postfix expression you know initially it will be empty but at each step you will be appending some element from the infix expression to this postfix expression okay so at each step we will be seeing what is the status of each of these so the first step see has the symbol opening bracket and we know whenever we see an opening bracket we have to directly push it onto the stack so the stack which was initially empty now has one element which is the opening bracket okay and the postfix expression is still empty nothing has been appended to it as of now the next element that we see is the x from the infix expression x is a character it is an operand so we can directly append it to the postfix expression and no changes will be made to the stack it still has only one element as previous uh, iteration which is the opening bracket now postfix expression is no longer empty it has the character x now in the next iteration we see a uh, an operator which is the plus operator now we know that whenever we see an operator we have to check the top of the stack if an operator of higher or equal precedence is present at the top of the stack then we will have to pop out some elements and append but in this case the stack only has a parenthesis so when we uh, encounter the plus operator we can directly push it onto the stack the stack now has two elements the plus and the opening bracket and the po uh, the postfix expression that we are created has still has a single uh, element or character which is the x the next symbol that we witness is the y uh, since it's a character or an operand uh, whatever you say uh, we can directly append it to the postfix expression and the expression becomes x and y no change in the stack is seen in this step the next operate the next symbol that we are seeing is the closing bracket so when we see a closing bracket we have to pop out all the elements from the stack and keep appending them into the postfix expression as long as uh, the opening bracket is seen onto the stack okay so we see a closing bracket in the infix expression and then we check what was present at the top of the stack the top of the stack contains the plus operator so we pop it out and we append that operator in the postfix expression that we are creating next the stack contains the opening bracket so we will pop it out but we will not append it in the expression none of the parentheses the opening or closing bracket will be appended to the uh, postfix expression ever and the stack now becomes empty because we have popped out all the elements okay the next operator that we see is the division operator since no other operator of higher or equal precedence is present in the top of the stack we directly push it to the stack and no changes are made to the postfix expression in this case the next is the opening parenthesis we directly push it on the top of the stack no change in the postfix expression and the stack now has two elements the next is the operand z we have to directly append it to the postfix expression and no change in the stack is seen in this step 
the next is the star operator so star operator uh, we have to check whether the stack contains an operator at the top of it since it does not contain an operator it only contains an opening parenthesis so we directly push the star the operator onto the stack and the postfix expression in this step does not see any other changes the next Operand is 8. We directly append it to the postfix expression and stack remains unchanged with three elements. The last is the closing bracket. So the closing bracket makes us pop out elements as long as we pop out the uh, till we have till we have popped out the opening bracket. So this star will be popped out because it is the multiplication operator and it will be appended to the postfix expression then the opening bracket will be popped out but it will not be appended to the postfix expression and the stack is only left with a single element which is the division operator now further there are no more elements the infix expression has ended so the last step is to pop out all the elements from the stack and append it to the postfix expression so at last you have popped the element last element which is division operator and you have appended it to the existing postfix expression so this is your final postfix expression for the corresponding infix expressions that infix expression that we were working with okay so this was all for today's video if you follow all the steps and correctly understand each condition you will definitely land up uh, writing the correct postfix notation for the infix expression thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam